women who have worked to secure and protect the right to vote for over a century, 100 years ago with the 19th Amendment. Over 100 years ago, women were guaranteed the right to vote, the first real step towards women's representation in politics. So why hasn't there been 100 years worth of progress towards gender equality in the government? The late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg once said, I'm sometimes asked, when will there be enough women on the Supreme Court? And I say, when there are nine. People are shocked. But there had been nine men, and nobody's ever raised a question about that. Females make up 50.8% of the American population, yet they make up less than 28% of the American government, and there has never been a female president in the country. If our country isn't truly representative and isn't truly a place where anyone can serve and lead and contribute who wants to, then we're not really a democracy. Despite the progress that has been made towards equal representation of women in government, the United States is still behind other countries, and women are still seen as unfit for government positions. And it's not a global issue. America is ranked around 77th out of 193 countries in terms of female representation in government. To gain more knowledge on this subject, we spoke to Brooke Learman, a member of the Maryland House of Delegates, as well as an attorney who has experience as a woman in office. Many of our peer nations have had women presidents, women prime ministers, many more women executives, many more women mayors, many more women in office in general. Additionally, about 70 other nations have had a female head of government or state. We spoke to Anne Moses, the founder and president of Ignite, a nonprofit organization that trains young women to become the next generation of political leaders. So in other countries, they actually have quotas about how many women actually need to serve in their legislatures. Over 50% of countries have implemented these gender quotas, giving them a greater representation of both genders in their government. America is not one of these countries. And so I think we're going to be lagging behind the world for a good long time. Boys and girls are both influenced at a young age, impacting their desire to take part in politics. While some girls inherently enjoy politics, many are actually dissuaded from entering the field. Young boys are are actually told and rewarded for their leadership skills and suggested that they would be great political leaders by both school and in families way higher than girls are. It is crucial to have more women in government so that girls have strong female political role models to inspire them. Once women actually run, they often face a double standard, stopping them from achieving many titles. Cecily Basker is the current mayor of the town of Chevy Chase, as well as a lawyer who has experience with this issue. If women and men sort of act in exactly the same way or say the same things, um, that they're judged in different ways for it. The space that women have to operate in is so narrow. You can't be too tough, but you can't be too gentle. You can't be too bossy, but you can't be too meek. There are even some who say that there are enough women in government. They don't know what the data is, and so they think like, sure, it seems like 50%, right? For many, many years, we were okay with having 100% of our elected officials be men, and 100% of our judges be men, and 100% of our CEOs be men. And I'm not sure why having more women be in office or be running companies or be on the bench is a problem. Additionally, less than 1% of elected officials identify as non-binary. Evidently, non-binary people as well as women are extremely underrepresented in the American government. While America has been improving, women are still underrepresented, and the nation should not stop fighting until women have an equal role in government. America has seen through other countries that a female leader can be greatly beneficial. An increase in female politicians would provide more ideas and perspectives when making decisions. I think the more women we have in office, the better America will be. Women focus on grassroots and family needs. They run to solve problems and to make government work for their constituents. 
Additional female political officials would provide a better political climate for women and could spark change for other women's rights issues. So deliberative democracies work best when there are people from different backgrounds, that have different identities and experiences, that they're able to attack a problem and put forth solutions that can readily um, address the needs of people that are differently situated. If a certain group of people are left behind because there's no one speaking for them at the policy table, then we're all worse off. Evidently, it is imperative that more female politicians are appointed and elected in the United States. The nation lacks women in government when compared to other countries and has an absence of policies that could lead to reform. Although America is making advancements in the representation of women in government, gender equality cannot be achieved until women have an equal seat at the table. But while I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. Because every little girl watching tonight sees that this is a country of possibilities.